Psalm 128 verses 4 to 5, Peace comes to the God-fearing family. Psalm 128 5, Behold, for thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. 5 The Lord bless you from Zion, and may you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. The man who fears the Lord has a faith that works within him as he walks out his life in reverential regard for the will of God, God's blessings will follow him. The blessing from God originates from his throne in Zion. The Lord commands us through David's writing in Psalms that we are to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, that peace will not come until Jesus returns to rule from the throne of his gracious presence in the midst of his people. On that day he will rule with justice and righteousness, and the people will be blessed with long life, vibrant offspring, and worldwide peace, all will emulate from the prosperity of Jerusalem. The faithful will see their children's children. Since both the church and Israel will reign with Christ on earth for that millennial reign, God's promised blessings will fall upon both bringing a prosperity of peace to each home. The peace in the home comes when family members share the regeneration and renewed mind as we are transformed and reconformed to the image of God by the power of God's indwelling Holy Spirit. Reading about this in Romans 12 2 where we are instructed, not to be, conformed to this age, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may discern what is the good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. Barnes gives us this word picture of what peace and prosperity would be like rendering it in agricultural terms, see the farmer cultivating his fields, see him gathering in the grain, see him at his own table calmly, quietly, and gratefully enjoying the fruit of his toil. Look upon that picture of a happy family numerous, cheerful, beloved giving promise of upholding the name of the family in future years and see all this as coming from the Lord and you have an illustration of the blessedness which follows those who choose a Christ-like life. Apart from the Christ-like nature that Christ grace imparts to repented humanity, the world would remain unchangeable, steeped in evil, propagated through the natural attributes brought about by a loveless people that move through life fully submitting to the dictates and desires of the inherited Adamic nature, whose attributes are concisely listed in 1 Corinthians 13,4-6. Love does not envy, neither is it boastful, it is not conceited, it does not act improperly, it is not selfish, it is not easily provoked, it does not keep a record of wrongs, love finds no joy in unrighteousness but it rejoices in the truth. The word of God becomes a mirror to fallen humanity, revealing man to himself and opening the door to transfiguration and redemption for the willing. With the Reformation and public access to the Word of God several centuries ago, those who accept and embrace its principles and tenets have found a sure way to avoid the normal miseries of life by securing peace of mind by faith. We know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose for them. 29 For God knew His people in advance, and he chose them to become like his son so that his son would be the firstborn among many. Brothers and sisters. 30 And having chosen them, he called them to come to him. And having called them, he gave them right standing with himself. And having given them right standing, he gave them his glory.